All right, you guys, this is part the rear of four of where can I work as an informatics specialist. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, this is Jen from Informatics Life where I give you real world informatics content as well as about healthcare, technology, and leadership. Yes. This is part three of four of the where can I work as an informatics specialist. Make sure you watch what keyword searches to look for when you're typing in on the computer, when you're searching. That's gonna be very helpful too when you're searching for job opportunities. But this one is dedicated for different departments you can work for you know, as you're out there in the field looking, a lot of cool things. So make sure you watch all four parts of the series, all right? So for this one, I'm gonna start out talking about more, I'm gonna say it, it is departments that you may or may not even think about when you're looking for jobs, but the opportunity is there. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is something that definitely is utilized in hot, well, I, I was blank. Hold on. They should be using this. <laughs> or they should have a department dedicated to this. If not, maybe they're just smaller and they may not just have the option to do this at this point. But these departments definitely by far helps to improve processes, patient outcomes, it helps to improve revenue, it helps to improve everything out there in a large company, whether you are health informatics specialist or nursing informatics specialist, uh, these type of departments are so key. Everybody runs to them because they're just like, I need some data, 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 data. <laughs> yes, data analytics. Regardless, your, your coursework, I don't know, some people's coursework includes it, some people coursework doesn't, but just know that as an informatics specialist, there is an opportunity that you could work in these areas. Data analytics, they are super important to organizations, period, okay? I get, like I said, if you're small, you may not have the money to even invest in that kind of stuff, or they might hire third party companies to do this kind of stuff. And that's understandable when you can't afford to do it on your own. Data analytics departments uh, could be one department, it could be multiple departments across your company, across your organization. But you know, if you're not familiar with data analytics, it's pretty much, uh, say for instance, I need to find out how many patients are being discharged and they're returning within three days that's a problem or <laughs> how many patients are coming into the hospital and they are coming in with no infections but they end up with infections before they leave that's a problem so, <laughs> so sometimes and i'm not gonna go with too much in depth i'll make another video about some of this stuff but what you may not know like the government will not reimburse you for certain monies if patients come down with infections or if patients are uh you know readmitted after a certain amount of days and you just discharge them because the patient got sick again there are like government mandates and legislation and all that out there that says you're gonna get in trouble if these patients keep returning to you after two days or if this patient came in just for a little simple surgery and now they have infection and they have to stay there for the next week because they have an infection the government will be like i'm not paying you for the medicare or medicare i'm not paying you for that stay you have to eat that bill so what do you think hospitals are gonna do they're gonna be like data analytics teams please help 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 and what they'll do is they'll, they'll just pull in that data, okay, how many patients are being impact impacted by this? You know, they'll narrow it down to the unit. Is it happening in the unit? Is it certain nurses that's doing it? Is it uh, certain surgeries that's doing it? Is it a time, like they'll look at all of this data to figure out what, what the issue is, what can we narrow it down to figure out like, can we like bring a solution to this problem? 
But the first thing is first is data. You need to know. So data analytics departments are so cool. Like I know my department goes to them whenever we need it. Now my team does do smaller scale data analytics. We can run reports on certain things. And for the most part, we can, we're self-sufficient, but if, if people want like a larger scale of data or ongoing data pool, we don't do that. We say, go to data analytics. They're amazing. They can help you. <laughs> so data analytics is a department that you can work for. I hope what I said sounded cool because it is, it's, it's pretty cool. As an informatics specialist, you can help out for, in those areas. Now, why would they want an informatics specialist? It's because you bring that medical knowledge. You know how to speak to the nursing professionals out there about, you know, you know what data you can give them ideas. You can help coordinate data pools and, and bring their their kind of like medical knowledge to the data science knowledge. So it, it works hand in hand. And there might be some certs, there might be some uh, programming language, there might be just different things that you may have to get a certification for. And a lot of times uh, the department may offer that for to you for free, or they might say, hey, we'll give you a stipend if you go get this certification and this kind of like analytic tool or whatever. That is a department that you can look into in the future. So I think that is so cool. All right, so another department very similar to data analytics, data science. Data science, that is going a little bit more in depth beyond the data analytics teams. So data, data scientists, they may really look at that data and they can discover patterns. They can just, they can give recommendations to the medical staff. They can give recommendations to whatever company, maybe medical device company or whatever you're working for. So again, that could be a different department or a data analytics could just work as a, so data analytics could just be the one to pull the data. Okay, here's your report, bye. <laughs> so the data scientists would be like, here's your report. Let's sit down. Let's review it. Let's look at patterns. Let's figure out what we can do about these patterns. Let's give recommendations. <laughs> so that was, that's like more of what a data scientist will sit down and do. So, and they could provide recommendations or they could just identify the patterns. So again, it really all depends on how your data science, data analytics, data, whatever teams work as, but read the description in the job you know read the department description of what what the position does okay you can look for data science jobs out there departments so i think i i love data too i like I like a boss at project management project management. i like all of that stuff i think it's like just so cool to be able to influence outcomes of people people's lives that you're impacting as an informatics specialist which is phenomenal <laughs> Definitely look for those type of departments that you can work for, all right? Last but not least, probably not least, I'll probably end up making so many different series parts of this, but another opportunity is documentation integrity. Yes, that's as noble as it sounds. And an informatics specialist can work in that department too. <laughs> so. You know, documentation integrity specialists, they really hone in on integrity. Are these nurses documenting with integrity? Are they copying other nurses' documentation? Are they copying over the previous shift nurses' documentation, which you shouldn't be doing? Also, like, are they entering people's charts that they shouldn't be entering? Are they, you know, just different things like that. So. Um, documentation specialists, they could do so uh, an array of different things depending upon what the organization or company uh, desires for them to do. I just know like our documentation integrity uh, department, I think they do a phenomenal job. There's a lot of work that they have to do. So they have like 30, 000, over 30,000 plus people they're trying to monitor who's going into the chart. So they just wanna make sure everyone is doing the right thing as far as documentation. So that is another department that an informatics specialist can work in. I just hope I am blowing your mind with all these different departments. 
Because, again, I think that people think, oh, I just got to look for informatics jobs. No, there's so many. Make sure you watch the entire series so you can see all the different departments, as well as look at the keyword search of the keyword video that I that I put out as well, because your mind's going to be <laughs> It is a whole world on this side of the railroad track, the fence, whatever you want to call it. It is definitely a lot different, but there's opportunities out there in different departments. So I want you guys to be knowledgeable about what to look out for, what to look forward to. I'm going to gear up for part four, four. So make sure you watch the entire series. I can't say that enough. So you know everything. All right, you guys. So this is Jen Lewis, nurse informatics specialist, signing off.